Hello. <laughs> Do you want to come and see the new pirate ship aquarium? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, right, guess what? We've got to get back home because it's dinner time. What have you just done, dude? Did you bang your head? Come and take a look at the pirate ship aquarium. We'll have to make a treasure chest that we can put in there, yeah? Yeah. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another MD Fish Tanks build video. So recently I was at a fish shop and with my children, who they're very young, like four and six. So they saw this pirate, pirate ship thing joins together. Anyway, they were like, daddy, daddy, can we get that? Can we make a tank? And I said, no, 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 of course not. And walked out and then I thought, you know, why not? So I went back, I bought it. I'm gonna make it for them. They're not gonna do it with me because they're like too young. They won't be interested, maybe 30 seconds and then they'll be gone. But what I'm gonna do is escape the tank for them using the ship. It's gonna be difficult, but you know, I like a challenge. Then I'm gonna surprise them at the end and like sort of just unveil it to them. And hopefully they like it. Yeah, so there's the tank. Now, many of you that watch my channel regularly will know that this is actually an ADA tank, but I just took the sticker off because who cares? I mean, you can use any kind of tank you want. It doesn't need to be like an ADA one. And I bet ADA didn't think they're going to be having a pirate ship in one of their tanks either. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've not actually put it in yet at all to see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, yes. I think this can seriously work. I do. I like that. It looks cool. Obviously, the base of the ship looks a bit funny, but we can we can fix that. We can keep that, you know, in the sand or whatever we're going to put in the bottom. Not entirely sure. I'm not going to keep them together like that. I need to split them slightly, don't I? I think it make it look a bit more realistic, like they've split apart. I'm not quite sure yet, though, but first of all, we need to get a substrate layer in the aquarium. Some crushed lava rock. It doesn't have to be crushed lava rock. I mean, that can be quite expensive. You can just put some gravel down if you want to. The point of this layer is just to make sure our sand doesn't compact and just get any nasties underneath it. And it will also allow the flow of nutrients through the base and allow beneficial bacteria to colonize as well. So I placed in some sand there. That's not our decorative sand. I just wanted to, you know, pad out that gravel a little bit. Ready now to put our stones in and the ship. So it's like a base so we can move them around on it without it damaging the glass. And it'll also help us to hold the shape of the rock that we want. I think that looks like sort of natural. <laughs> what am I talking about? Doesn't look natural. Anyway, if you split them apart too much, it stops looking like a boat in my opinion. So I think that's sort of still capturing it. I mean, the reason I picked this one is because basically the only one was there. And also my children took a liking to it. It doesn't look that much like a boat, does it? <laughs> anyway, we're going to go with it and just see what happens. I want to start building up some rocky areas around the outsides as well. So we've got like a valley and then it can look like it's fallen into that abyss or something. You guys wanted it and now it's here. Timmy line merch, guys. So I released the color version of this. For, you, for those of you that don't know, this is Timmy, my turtle. He's a must turtle, so I did my own design and uh, loads of you are loving it. Loads of you bought the color one, but I was getting loads of messages saying, when's the line one coming? Well, it's ready, it's released. Click the link above now and you can go and buy it. And there we go, strong start, I think. So basically what I'm trying to create here is like a shoreline or, or just an area of rocks in the sea that the, the, the boats hit. So in the foreground, I'm gonna have sand as if like, it's like a clear part of the sea, I don't know. And then it's just hit the rocks and it's sort of just stayed there. So I wanna put some soil behind these uh, areas in the corner so we can have some planting in there and we can kind of make it look like it's some sort of kelp garden or something like that i don't i really don't know what i'm talking about i just want to get some greenery in there <laughs> i want to add some aqua soil in now so we can plant into it but before i do that i want to move the uh, the boat because i don't really like the composition we're a little bit too central i know it's a fun tank but we can still at least try to make the composition correct so or what we deem to be correct ourselves well not necessarily correct but you, you know whatever you fancy and i think it needs shifting over to the right a little bit and, and angling towards us 
I don't know, just to make it less square. Okay, there we go. I think that's a bit better. Look, it's, it's off center. And I think it just gives us a bit more room to play around in this corner as well. So different plants, which I've got no idea what we're doing yet, but we'll get to that bit when we come to it. <laughs> First of all, we just need some aquasol in that back area to be able to plant into. You can use sand, but I've got a load of aquasol available. And I want to save the sand for the foreground. there we go looking pretty good i think so far right so you can see now we've used those rocks in the foreground to make a sort of dividing wall between the aqua soil at the back and the sand at the front so hopefully it shouldn't really migrate not too much anyway you might get the odd little bit but that's okay won't matter so next i want to put my nice decorative sand in the foreground this stuff's quite yellowy or orangey and i think it'll look better with a mix in of it of like a lighter color as well Something that you can do if you really want to is you can break up these rocks to make smaller pieces for more detail, but I really like that sort of clean beach look. So for now at least, I'm gonna keep it like that. I might add some in later, but let's just keep it clean to start with. Next up, we can attach some mosses to some of the areas that we think are you know, not really looking too great. So I don't really like that area there. I think it looks very artificial. Well, it all looks artificial, but you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use some super glue gel just to cover it up and put some moss on. Now, cyanoacrylate super glue gel is completely fish safe, so you don't have to worry about it harming your fish or your plants. Right, there we go. I don't want to overdo it on the mosses. I want just enough there, look, just to, to give it a little bit of realism. And I think that's actually transformed the ship so much, like, straight away, don't you? Like, straight away, I, I can see it being more realistic. <laughs> Anyway, good job, good job. I think now we're at a good stage where we can start planting. And what I want to do is have blocks of colour. So this section, just have a block of stems of colour and a block over here. And just, yeah, I think that'll look really good and, and fun. You know, I want to do make this a fun scape. I'm not trying to make it realistic or anything. So let's make it fun with colours. So I think what I want to do now is actually just fill the tank up. I want to get the sort of length of the stem plants right. And it's really hard to tell if you plant them now and then fill it up. So I like to fill the water level up to about three quarters of the way. You can put the stems in there and they stand exactly where you want them. I just find it's the best way of doing it. That's looking really good though. I like that. <laughs> Okay, we are getting there. I think that looks really cool so far. Really pleased with the look. It's actually looking better than I thought it would. <laughs> but now I want to mix it up a bit and put a plant in that regular viewers to my channel will know that I like to use a lot. And that is... Da -da -da -da, pearl weed. So this plant here, it goes very, very green, very easily. And you can see you don't even need to plant it. So I've got here a um, what's it called it's like a ceramic ring and there's some filter floss in a strip and all i'll do is wrap it wrap those up with the filter floss and put it in the ring and then you don't even need to plant it it'll pull lots of nutrients from the water column which just makes it so so simple just plop and drop it in the tank
<laughs> I think that's looking great so far. So to my eyes, I think we need one more green plant in this section and then one more red plant next to it in that section. And I think we'll be done with the planting. Let's keep it simple. I've got some really cute fish to go in here as well. And I don't want to go over the board. I want my, my sons to be able to really see the boat and just get their nice reaction to it as well. If you make it too complicated with plants, it's going to lose that sort of boaty feeling, I think. Boaty boat face. <laughs> Do you know what? I just set the tripod up here. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. That looks perfect. I love it. That nice big burst of pinky red over in the left corner, the, the bright green, the vibrance of it on the right, and then, you know, other shades of green all in between. And then we've got that nice open space behind the ship as well, making sure that it stays, you know, the focal point of the tank. And let me bring this light slightly forward. I've pushed it right to the back. That's probably where it will sit. But yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, that looks so good, doesn't it? I think they're going to love it. I love it, to be fair. It's fun. It's really good fun, isn't it? It's not my usual style. So for those of you that don't know, this is more like my usual style. So I go for sort of nature style tanks and I like to create realistic style tanks as well. So this is like a nano stream, fast flowing. Hang on, put the main pump on and on. There we go. So yeah, so it's a fast, I had it unplugged because I had my lighting on but you can see, so I created a nice, nice fast stream. There's gonna be some really nice fish going in here soon. It's gonna be fish that like this kind of flow and this kind of setup. So I like to try and make natural style tanks as well. I don't just wanna do the same thing. And that's why we've done this one as well, because it's just some, some fun, isn't it? It's something different in the fish room. That is looking great, but obviously we're gonna need some filtration. And for that, I've got, oh, I've got this, which is just a cheap little hang on the back filter. It's got like a surface skimmer as well. Just gonna hang it onto the side of the aquarium. And yeah, it doesn't cost a lot. Same as the light doesn't cost a lot. You can find it in the description. I'll leave a link to it for you guys as well. So we've got the filter sorted, the plants, the decor, the water has been dechlorinated, but we want to add fish straight away and therefore we have to add some beneficial bacteria. I'm obviously going to use API Quick Start. Right, we're all set up, ready for the fish. Now, I've actually already got the fish. They're in my other studio. I've had them for a while, actually. Let me take you in there and show you. Okay, here we are. This is my second studio for those of you that don't know. So I've got my little better fish tank over here, which did have lots in, but now it doesn't. Oh, there's some Amanos. And this next to it is my absolutely awesome Amazon Aquarium. We've got plants coming out the top, loads of reflections as well. Sorry, I didn't set up the curtain, but never mind. And then next to it, we've got the Buddha tank, which is coming in. It's doing very well. It's got a lot of uh, cleanup crew in there at the moment. All that video is coming soon. That should be looking absolutely spectacular very shortly. And then behind there, we've got the full racking system. So I did used to have quite a few on here, but I've cleared space for more tanks. And I've just made it so it's one big wall, which I really, really like. If you need to sort out those uh, airline tubes at the moment, they look, <laughs> look a bit of a mess, but it's, it's, it's all just finished. I've only just put it all together like this. So we've got a ton of really, really nice shrimp going on at the moment. We've got like these Santa Claus ones down here. We've got the normal sort of cherry reds next to it. And here's a really cool killie fish. This is the Liatel, really nice. And then up the top here, we have got the blues. So these are blue dream shrimp. Next to them, We've got the crystals. Hello, crystals. Look at that one there. Beautiful. And then next to that, we've got the black crystals. They're looking really, really good as well. Doing well. I quite like this scape, even though it's just a mess, but I like the way it does that cool sort of twisty way and then explodes at the top. And then the next one, we've got an absolute ton of yellows in that one. Anyway, that's enough about that. Why are we here and why are we looking at these? Because down this bottom tank down here, we have got the green resporas and an awesome killifish which I picked up yesterday. I've not shown you guys that one yet, but look, we've got all these green resporas. Now I need to do the painstaking task of trying to catch them all in here and moving them across into the new aquarium. <laughs> that all actually went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to and it's done in no time but what we need to do now is actually take these fish and put them in the other water just in case the temperatures are any different so they're not shocked and just putting them straight in. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we just keep the fish like that for about 20 minutes or so, and you know, just to make sure that everything's okay. Right, that's been 20 minutes, now let's get the fish in. They've already split up and gone their own separate ways, so that's not going to help themselves if they're feeling panicked. They're kind of hiding at the moment. But let's just give it some time to sort of get settled in. I'll tell you what, there's only one thing left to do really. I need to go and pick up my sons so they can come and have a look. I'll do that. By the time I come back, they should all be feeling okay. Oh, there's one coming out already. Come on then. Don't be scared. Look at your new amazing boat. I'm on a boat, mother... Hello. Do you want to come and see the new pirate ship aquarium? Yeah! <laughs> okay, cool. Where's Jakey? Jakey, do you want to come and see the pirate ship aquarium? Yeah? Do you remember, you always say... Oh, hang on. You always said to me, every time we go to the fish shop, can we get the pirate ship? Guess what? I got it. <laughs> do you want to come and see? Yeah! Yes! Okay, boys, are you ready? Right. Come and take a look at the pirate ship aquarium hey, the pirate ship. it's there oh, is, it bad? Whoa. is it good yep. a pirate ship. do you want me to lift you up to see yeah oh, you want to see the treasure yeah well the treasure is right inside that middle bit can you see i can't see it is it good doodles I it's not really. It. <laughs> Maybe I have to, we'll have to make a treasure chest that we can put in there, yeah? Yeah. 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 But the treasure chest has to go there so we can see it. Okay, good see. idea. You want to see as well, Jakey? I want to see it. Ready? You can't, you can't uh. see the treasure chest. There's no treasure chest thing. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah? There's Do no you like the fish choice? Chest. They are green respores. You like them? Yeah, Look how green he is. Oh, I like, I like the front part of the pirate ship. You like the front I part? Like the I like, moss? I like, yeah, and I also like the hole in the... At the front part, can you see it? Yeah, it's got a hole. I like, I like the back bit of the hole. The back bit, oh yeah. Oh, daddy. Ah, yes, that's stats to come. Um, shh, it's a secret, we haven't told anyone yet. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? Do you like do you like the Pirate Ship Aquarium? Yeah, yep. You do? Oh, that's Actually, brilliant. I brought something with me. You brought something with you? <laughs> Okay, right, guess what? We've got to get back home because it's dinner time. What have you just done, dude? Did oh, you bang your head? I my elbow hit every time. Oh, dear. Right, let's go get our dinner. <laughs>